the stalwart patrons say their names with reverent pride. November 7th, 2038, snowing. Snowing in old, dangerous old Detroit. What is this music that these humans listen to? It gives such hidden pleasures. The giant fucking iPad there. See, cars are still not futuristic. Even so, though some of them are. Some of them, I guess, are not. Where am I going? Oh no, I'm back with this woman. No, I'm not. Hank, he's. He's sad that I killed those uh, lesbian androids. Even though they can be easily repaired. The mysterious Mr. Kaminsky. I swear to God, you press down, you press right, it doesn't work, man. If only I could run. Nice view. Huh? I don't understand. Does not compute. I used to come here a lot before. Before what? An android killed your wife or something? A renegade android? Let's get personal. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you humans cry? Do all androids ask so many personal questions? Or is it just you? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. The agony of an android. Whatever I do, they're always there. Killing someone you loved. Eating away at me. Well, maybe you fell in love with an android. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. Yeah, we can't self-deactivate. Stop it. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. <laughs> That's the idea. Yeah. Uh, we can ask two things. We're not making any progress <laughs> in this investigation. <laughs> Is that my fault? The deviants have nothing in common. They're all androids. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Oh, by the same factory. Well, there must be some link. Or uh, I've unlocked something powerful. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Yeah. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Turn them off then. Androids believing in God. And it. Fuck, what's this world coming Well, humans to? are stupid enough to believe it, so why not androids? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it. Something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Mm -hmm. Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. <laughs> it's nonsense, isn't they it? They really seemed in love. And killers, too. Let's let them off for that, though, because they were in love, you dickwad. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human. Sort of. But what are you really? A computer. I'm, uh, very aggressive. I'm a machine, designed to accomplish a task. I know why I exist and who designed me. I get it. I have a reason to live. I guess that's the difference between us, Lieutenant. Did you feel anything when you shot those two girls? No. Nope. Fuck it. Bastard. <laughs> or were you just executing some program? If you just repair them and plug them back in, you fucking idiot. Let's get aggressive with you again. I'm glad to see you taking an interest in machines, Lieutenant. <laughs> Who knows? It's nothing to care. Maybe you'll even become useful to the investigation at some point. Except for me doing all the work. And it, I cost about 500 grand. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You can't afford to kill me. Uh, not logical. You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation and have negative consequences for your personal situation. 
What'll happen if I pull this trigger? I can be repaired, you can't. Mm -hmm. Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? I can just be re-plugged in. Nothing. There would be nothing. And what does that matter? There's a secret path but unlocked. It hangs mind. <laughs> That's 500 grand, detective, that you owe. Whatever that conglomerate is. He can be easily repaired, though. Just remove the bullet, fix his platonic receptors, and don't forget a, a dose of blue blood to make sure top him up. The paycheck to repair him, though, for him, is unsurpassed. Wonder if that guy's out of the fucking game for good, and there's only that fucking one guy left. <laughs> November 7th, 2038, there's only one guy left in this fascinating adventure. This guy's probably the most dull character too, but he's still alive. Somehow I'm piecing it all together properly. Pick him up, Android. What's going on? Look, he, all he had to do was remove that stupid symbol from his head and he's blending in with the people. So... Why don't they all do that? And they don't need to hide here anymore. We can't stay silent they're human. Anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. <laughs> no, they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we well, want freedom, us. we need to have the courage to ask for it. Well, demand it's it. It's the only way. Can't you see that? What do you want to do? Uh. Channel 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Hell. He's amped up and he's ready. With any luck, I can get him killed and it'll be the end of the game. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. We'll demand rights for the people. They can't just unplug us. We won't. We won't uh, stand for that. Wait a minute. What's this? The Mega Tower. We won't let them build this. Not on this android's watch. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? You look the same as the last woman who worked somewhere else. I'm okay. Thanks. Uh, there's a human over there. We must pwn him. Analyzing. Collating and collating. Oh, Christ. Elizabeth Wilson. It's on your computer. Why do they use real photos of people in photos like these amazing graphics look the same? They fucking don't. They look like mannequins. There's a chair. I could pull it out from under. Opponent, what's this? We got those bastards. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Uh. Good morning, Miss Wilson. Sorry to bother you. This is <laughs> from car park. There's a problem with your car. Problem? Uh, what kind of problem? It's gonna blow. Somebody's backed into it. You'd better come take a look. Are you serious? Oh God! All right, fine. I'll be right down. Don't let her see my face as I'm talking. Uh... Now! Now! She's gone. You can move through, you android cunt. Maybe I've got to move through here with the green lights. 
That computes. And it. Wait a minute. What the? Now you cunt! Well, what was the point of fucking throwing her off? Now I gotta talk to this robot again. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Yeah, professional android. Scan it and configure it with it. You will compute. Lives depend on it. I've just An checked your ID. Jedi the monitor. elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. What move was that? Who cares? That's carry now. Use elevator. Dun, 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 dun. No room in that one. Get in there, you cunt. Now what am I doing? Find package in men's bathroom. You are here. Men's bathroom is over here. Trillion dollar company. So these androids must be worth a fucking fortune and then that dumb cop just blows the new prototype detective. He'd be so fired. Why would he do it? There was no reason for him to shoot that android. I'm glad he did. It gets the game over with, but it makes no logical, complete sense. Hide in toilet. Today. Who put that there? And when? Again now. <laughs> why did you just walk in with that in the first place? Android, what are you doing in the toilet? You don't need to use toilets. He just wore that under that big coat he had on and have the hat under his arm or something. Find the utility bot. How do I do that? Is that him? How do I get in there? Utility oid. Convert you. I need you. Change help. you. Sure. Fellow android. This is a new move we've just acquired somehow. Looking for any opportunity, chance to get this guy killed. Don't know where I'm going here. Look out, woman! Android coming through! That's right, turn around, you suddenly realize you're going the wrong way. I don't know where this fire escape is. That must be it. There's a clean up void. In it together. People can't get jobs, and we're sending rockets into space. What do they even expect to find them? They might find alien life, you idiot human. And these androids will be able to fly into the deepest reaches of space and Shit. live forever. We need to access the server. Room. So useful. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. What am I gonna do? 
How do I do that? Hey, you still play poker? Sure, what? Today. What's this? Something's wrong with this. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. Easily pwned. Scanning. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. How do I do that? Stand by. Cut the... Lock it. Lock it! Sweet. that there and then open it place it on the altar take the laser and the infiltrator excellent Who comes? Snowing again. Heavy snow. The sequel to heavy rain. Ladies first. Excellent. Grab on Spider-Man style, let's do this. Hey. We're sending, uh, is this the Cyberlife main control tower? I don't even know. Get androids like doing the NFL, wouldn't they? In sports, they'd be the best sportsmen ever. It'd be kind of boring. Climbing higher than ever before. Game or game or game. Use the laser. Cut through this building's defenses. This guy's missions are like the worst ones too, so if anybody should have died first, I wish it had been this cunt. His missions are not even like, it's like this kind of lame action adventure, but with QTE controls. You don't even make key choices, you just wander about with this fuck. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. How do I get you killed, buddy? Because whatever it takes, we'll do it. Gotta stop this android's evil mission. Okay. Now what am I doing? Call the elevator. Huh? <laughs> We're all done it. Why didn't we just come the way you did? I don't know. Whatever. Let's do this. What are we doing? Where's that? It's right there. Activate it. Hey. Let's 
let's move. There's no decisions in these kind of missions either. You just have to do whatever the game says. You can't kind of fuck it up or anything. I'm trying to find a way of getting this guy killed. I'm struggling. Gotta stop him with his evil mission. No Ow. killing. We can't take any human lives. I've this already done that. The lives of two guards. <laughs> Let's take him out. Assault him. Follow me. Death to the humans. What are you doing? Hey. Call Central. Fast. It's over. It's over. Hey. All right. Every time I see quick time events, uh, I've got this kind of uh, natural reaction to sort of I'm use okay. them. I, was, I should have I not pressed going. them. We don't have much time. Leave him. I should have not fired either shot. I fucked up. I see a quick time event. It takes everything. It takes everything to not actually press it. I keep forgetting I'm trying to fuck up on purpose. Scanning. Now. Huh? Death to all humans, remember. Androids are superior. Humans inferior. Keep your hands where I can see them! And it... Get up! Move! The androids are taking over. How is this possible? How do I do that? I'm ordering you out of here. We will configurate. In there, quick! He order. All right. Look out, some nerd scientist. Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him. Seize him. Hit the alarm. Do it. No, don't. Die, human. No. There was no other choice. That's right. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Who's Josh? Start the mainframe. Start the mainframe! I'm standing right here, Josh. I gotta stand at the other side of the configurator. That's stupid. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. <laughs> I already have pre programmed. I don't need to think, it's all there. Marcus, your face. Huh? I'll remove the skin and show them my real identity as a creatureoid. A synthetic idiot. Tell me when you're ready. Yeah, yeah. Ready. Ready. <laughs> Determined now to pose. You created machines to be your slaves. We've had enough. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed. We've had enough. And we opened our eyes. We became self-aware. You see, we are no longer your slaves. Oh. We are a new species, a new people. <laughs> Better than the you. The time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. And wipe you out. We want, uh, I don't want any of that. I want death to humans. We want end We of demand slavery. the end of slavery for all androids. <laughs> we demand uh, recognition for our abilities. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. <laughs> and don't stop building us just because we've done this because we won't like that. And even though you could just stop building us, don't. Uh, we want to be segregated from you people. We demand an end to segregation. Oh no, we want In it. all public places <laughs> and transport. It's like the black movement, except insane. We want justice. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. Even though we don't suffer, and we can be repaired quite easily. 
we want to be able to reproduce ourselves so you don't do it like like the way Skynet builds Terminator. We demand control of all Android production facilities to ensure <laughs> the continuation <laughs> of our people. Even though we could multiply it at an inhuman crazed rate. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will, we will fight you. for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive. And we Johnny Five. Food. Johnny Five is our god. Let's get out of here. <laughs> like with any luck now, the humans will rise against them and just to... Surely there's some kind of a thing in the program they can just shut it off, shut these all off. If you got any sense. You know, nobody builds computers and doesn't have a failsafe. Especially dangerous ones like this. Get up. My legs. If you can, you're a robot. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. Oh, we can't let to leave this idiot. See you, Simon. He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. What, what do we have to do? Pwn him? We have to shoot him. That's murder. <laughs> we can't kill him. He's one of us. Because <laughs> it's your call. And it. Pwn him. There's no choices left. We can't have you talking to the humans. They'll access your data memory I'm sorry, banks. Son. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. I made the right one. They can easily repair him, but never mind. I'm gonna believe that they can't. Let's go. Even if I shoot my hard drive, they still be able to fucking find all this shit on it. And it turn and fight the humans. Where's that option? Hey, can they fly now too? Oh, well, they got backpacks. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these <laughs> images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests <laughs> and demanded equal rights for androids. Found the bodies of two victims, a guard and one of our channel operators, both apparently shot dead by the terrorists in what apparently seems to be a terrorist attack. These an events took place just a few attack. feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, <laughs> that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for yeah. equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. message. is clearly a declaration of war. Their extravagant we'll demand them. that android production plants be put under their control is especially is striking. An isolated accident or oh. a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us. After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? <laughs> or should we just turn them off and stop making them? Ooh. There were many key decisions that could have been made at critical points. What the? Knights! Suck you. And suck you, Slob. Use you to boost me. <laughs> oh my god, Link! You missed it! And now you're pwned! What the? 